Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, I thought I'd get started on the uh, solar panel mounts. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to make a, well, it's almost like a clothesline post, a T-post. Um, I brought some of the stuff down from the tower before it started raining out. Yesterday it was 50-some degrees out and you didn't need a coat, and today it's like winter again. But rain, uh, so I guess it's not really winter, but it sure feels like it, damp and cold. Anyways, what my plan is is the two-inch pipe is going to be the top part of the T, and it will also be the post that goes in the ground. And this piece that's laying here is going to be the part that slides down over top of the post. And there's enough in there to make two, because I'm going to put on, put them in two separate uh, posts, just to make it a little easier to manage. So my first move is going to be find the center of this pipe, and I'm going to take a hole saw and cut a hole that that two-inch pipe will fit into. And then I'm going to cut it in two so that we have a shape like that to put the pipe in and then we'll, we'll weld it in place for the top of the T. And we'll also put uh, on this at the other end, we will put, we'll weld on some, oh, probably 5 eighths uh, nuts to lock it down in place. So I'm going to get started on that. Okay, I got the pipe marked, mounted in the milling machine. I got a long drill bit so I can go all the way through because the hole saw is probably not going to reach all the way down through, so I have to come through from the other side. So, give it just a little dose of cutting goose. Okay, we got the hole saw mounted up and get started on that. Got the hole saw tucked up, got some cutting oil on there, got the milling machine uh, back gears in and the lowest speed. So, here we go. Let's take our good old time. the lubrication. Coming along good. Okay, one side. Well, I got the piece out. It fell down in. So, I'm not sure if I want to try 
Continuing on, looks like that hole's going to be big enough for this chuck to drop down through. Uh, I'm not sure how the hole saw is going to act with the sights coming. I don't know, one way to find out. Let's give it a try. See what happens. It's going to be a little harder to lubricate though. You can always turn it over if it doesn't work out, as long as I don't destroy the hole saw. I disturbed it when I tried that piece out. No, that's not going to work because that center bell isn't long enough to hit the center hole. So we're going to turn it over. Coming in home stretch on the second side. saws actually work fairly well if you're real gentle with them. Lots of cutting oil and slow speeds. They will do quite a bit of work. Okay, here's the piece that come out of the hole saw. You know, this is the part that, you know, do you keep this thing? Because if you wanted to make something like that, it'd be pretty difficult. Of course, you could cut one out, I guess. If you want to make a patch or something for a bike, maybe just a ticket. Now, that's my problem. I want to save everything all the time. So, I'll get this cleaned up, and then we're going to cut this in two right here so we got two pieces. It's cut in two. So, let's see how it's going to fit. Yeah, that'll be good. Some weld right around there on each side. And I think there's a little bit of a gap here. Make a little piece to fit in there. Just keep water from going down in there. So, I guess next i got to figure out how long I want this piece. I'm going to put four panels on each one. And I think I'm going to mount them so the panel long way this way, so it'll be two the long way and two high the short way. That way it'll keep it closer to the ground, easier to clean the snow off, maybe not catch as much wind. Um, that's my plan. Don't know whether my thinking is valid or not, but that's how I'm going to do it. Well, that's not really going to be my next move. This is. <laughs> I'm going to put two nuts on down here, holes through, and nuts to secure it onto the pipe. That way I'll be able to uh, rotate it if I want to, and then later on if I want to make some kind of a tracking uh, device for it or something, you know, I can just take them out and it'll be free to turn on the post. So that's part of the reason why I'm going with this method also, so that 
in the future, if I get ambitious and want to try to make some kind of a tracker, it'll be uh, relatively easy to do, I hope. Okay, got the nuts cleaned up and the area where they're going to be welded in place cleaned up. Going to weld them on there next. Now well, one down and one to go. I made up some T-handles to tighten that down on the post. Well, I got some tubing. This was left over from the Coleman crate. What is it? Two and a half by inch and a half. Got to cut the length. And I also, some of the angle iron from the uh, windmill project, I've made brackets. And those brackets are going to go right on each side of this. Like that. And I was going to weld them on, but I think I'm going to bolt them instead. Just because I'll have access to it, and the iron is thicker than the tubing, and I just thought I'd probably have a neater job by bolting it, and then if I want to make some changes or something, I can always take it apart. So, I'm going to go ahead and get those on the two, I got two of these, cut the length, and I'm going to go ahead and get those attached. So next, in the middle of this, I've made these angle iron brackets, this is stuff from the tower, and I've drilled holes in there for few bolts and they're going to get welded on there like so and then the pipe will go here and this will be a stop for the pipe and then the new bolt will go here solar panels are going to be on this side And this will allow it to pivot so I can adjust the angle and then clamp it down. That's how I made my other ones, uh, what, 20 years ago and they worked fine. So just doing the same thing again, except I used uh, angle iron instead. I got the angle iron pieces welded onto the uh, square tubing and I got the the clothesline T part cut and I just got it thrown together on the floor here getting an idea making sure everything is okay now I gotta weld that uh, post onto the T part but it, it's just sitting there I didn't measure anything it's just a guess so it's probably not in the middle but I think that'll be the next thing get that cleaned up and, and welded Now I got the T all welded up, so now I guess it's a matter of uh, cleaning stuff up. I think I got all the parts made for the first one. Get them cleaned up and throw some paint on them. And start on the next one I guess. Now well, we got a sunny day and it's 40 some degrees today. so. I brought the parts out and give them a coat of paint with a paintbrush because I want some actual paint on them. <laughs> and I forgot to put that part on. That's the part that'll hold it at the proper angle. So I had to do that. Making progress on the uh, solar panel project. I got the uh, panels off the tracker and off the individual post the other one and I put the 100 watt panels together I had 400 watts on a tracker and 400 watts stationary and I didn't think the uh, tracker would handle the extra weight of all of them 
and it's kind of complicated and it's getting old so I figured I'd just do away with it simplify things so that's the new mount for the old panels and this is the four of the new panels 260 watts each so there's a thousand and what 40 watts supposedly there and the mount from the back side looks like that so maybe it'll make more sense to you now that uh, all the parts are together next part of the project um, this this post is uh, where the other set's gonna go the barrels for next part of the project is gonna be getting this wire installed from the new solar panels into the garage for the new system it is three number four coppers in underground direct burial underground cable it's real fun to work with pretty stiff <laughs> but uh, I think it'll do a good job that's what I've got on uh, going to my other uh, the one that now has eight on it so works really good I don't see any loss at the amount of current I'm running through it so It'll just lay on the ground until this weather breaks and then you can get it buried. So I just thought I'd fill you in on how the project's coming. So if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. That does help. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. That helps even more. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This is what I woke up to this morning, and that's
Yeah, we got a little bit of freezing rain before the snow, so they won't clean off totally. Looks like I'm going to need a little longer handle on this broom for the one. So if it gets any sun at all, that'll melt right off, I'm sure. So I'm going to go look and see if they're actually making anything that way. This is on for the house. It says it's charging. Yeah, <clears throat> 1.8 amps. That's the, the taller one. Okay, this one's awful hard to say. It says the PV is at 29 volts. 14 watts. There's only two uh, panels hooked up on that temporary wire run on the ground. <clears throat> so, it is making just a whisker. So the water wheel is what will keep me alive today. It's making about 7 amps, I think. And that will be all day, so. Okay, I guess we'll call this the end of the video. See you next time.